hey guys welcome back to the next video and in this video i will show you the dash core components like uh, drop down slider and all so let's start with the normal slider so these are the same libraries which i have imported it earlier and here i am using very minimal coding uh, which is required for example app dash dot dash which we need to initialize and if you remember from my previous video uh, where I've shown you this coding, I have done the similar thing where we have looked at the dashboard component graph. So here in this video, I will simply look at the the drop down as a core component. So I'll just execute that and execute this, and then here we will specify the layout. So app dot layout, and here we will start with the uh, dashboard component about uh, what dashboard component and HTML component we need but if you remember from the previous video uh, we basically wrap the dashboard component into the HTML component so let's do that so I'm just trying to show you that there is not much of a difference from what we did earlier and uh, the new thing that we will going to do it right now uh, and it will, you will be able to easily uh, grab or get and you know digest all of this code uh, if you have watched my previous video so dcc dot drop down if you see drop down is here and let's get the id is uh, first drop down and uh, next thing is options options it should be in a form uh, of a dictionary the options that we will going to specify but within a list so within a list we will specify the multiple dictionary values so first the list component like this and then the dictionary component like this so based on how many we want we can specify the uh, those dictionaries so let's say we want three so i'm just specifying so on the third one we don't need a comma the last one if you know from the previous coding structure so here we will specify uh, it minimum one thing and there are multiple parameters that you can specify like first thing is label so but it should be you know this label is let's say um it uh, what what kind of label that you want uh, that may be based on your business um, uh, labeling or the values uh, that is coming from your business table. So for example, it is a city name. So maybe I want San Francisco and uh, After that once we have specified the label we can we need to specify or we specify the backend value that needs to be passed So label is something which a front-end user will see and uh, value is something which will be passed to the backend table all right so i'll just copy this and uh, paste it over here and just give the new value and label maybe new york city and let's specify nyc and another one and uh, let's specify away Durham and let's specify RU the quotation here all right uh, and we can specify a default value by putting a comma over here and say value is equals to what value we want let's say we want NYC for example that's so this is kind of a minimum input that you need to give so let's go ahead and execute this um, module is not callable so let me see i think here is the issue the com container html dot yeah now we are good all right uh let me go and execute this and come it over here so here if you see by default new york city is is present and it is a drop down and if i open this uh san francisco i can select i can select valid home or let's say if you have 50 or maybe 
hundred or different values even what you can do is you can you will just uh, start typing about what you want to search let's say i want to search so as you can see as i'm writing a rally it is selecting this particular value so a searchable component it is a searchable component uh, through which you can actually search the value as well so just to show you the very minimum coding that we have done central we have just specified the label and the value so whenever we are selecting in the front end let's say new york city so if i come over here if i'm selecting the new york city this is a selection which is happening in the front end and the end user will not aware about uh, what is going in the back end in the table let's say for filtering purpose so in the back end table generally the values are coded so that it is taking a less, less space because we have a huge data and you are just passing the nyc there so in the back end table value is going as nyc if you print it out the value will be nyc and in the front end the value is new york city so as you can see this is like a very minimum coding that we have done if you see just four or five line of code and we have this this particular uh, drop down now there are a lot of different things like uh, giving a label so for example dcc dot drop down and uh, here let's say before that we want to specify what what kind of uh, uh, drop down it is so let's say we want to say choose a city so what we can do is uh, we can say html dot label all right so i need to just interrupt this for a minute all right and now if i say html dot label and we can specify choose a city put a comma um press control enter control enter and let's see this so choose a city right so this way we can specify the label and we can say uh, choose a city or whatever we want so this is as you can see uh, a combination of uh, html component and dcc component and if you just uh, if i come down here and just say html dot uh, let me just interrupt this that's why it is not coming um, html dot so we have a a b b r acronym address area b b r is to give a break so let's say if this is what we want html dot br and just put a comma control enter to enter what it will do is uh, just try to give a break over here similarly you have many other different components we just interrupt like uh, hyperlink and all sometimes my keyboard gives issue interrupt html dot and you have a lot of different html component which you can make use of and uh, get it also if i let's say br and i specify uh so it, you can basically see the the argument related to this by pressing shift and tabs two time so this this is quickly i wanted to talk to you and in the next videos as well i will show you um how you can basically further extend the drop down features as well as whenever you are uh, selecting any value how you can uh, how you can basically perform an event related operation let's say for example simply you want to first display that uh, what you have selected and then we can further extend it to filtering the data or perform some sort of an operation based on the values that you have selected so this is the first video and uh, we will i will extend uh, more uh, about its properties because drop down has a lot of different properties so let's see it in the next video